Ryan here, and today we're going to be working on the electrical out in the barn here again. If you watched the last video here, I mentioned at the end of it there, we're going to be adding some additional circuits to the outlets here along the uh, workbench and on the uh, shop side here. So we're going to be splitting what is currently one 20 amp circuit into three 20 amp circuits. Uh, everything ran here is 12 gauge wire. Uh, there's currently a quite a few plugs on this. I Forget what the number was again. I did count them here a while back, uh, so we got quite a few plugs on this one circuit. Obviously, when we did redid the workbench, we added in a couple of additional plugs, uh, the plugs that were in there before. We had a total of, I think it was a one, two, three, four, five, five plugs here. So a total of ten outlets, and yeah, we've never had enough here. It was always running out because again, you're like right. I guess you can't quite see on the camera here. Right here, you got a bandsaw and a drill press. There went those plugs right there boom so if you wanted to say plug something in there you had to unplug one of those uh, same thing here two uh, grinder here there's one behind me here there went the plugs there those were all gone and then you know same thing here we had uh, there's four chargers uh, stereo just a whole bunch of stuff plugged into the plug there there went that one so yes now we have plenty of plugs hasn't been a problem we doubled up a couple of them so now we got you know four outlets so uh, so we got the one back here, for example. I don't know if the camera will see this or not, but the one back there has four on it now. So what we're gonna do here is split this up. Uh, the plan is we're gonna leave this circuit here as, well, that was that circuit. Now we're gonna take this here, so that plug, and then the uh, two sets here. That's gonna become one circuit here with this one. And then we're gonna also add one up there for the uh, TV. So add an additional plug yet. Yes, I know more plugs, but uh, we're gonna stick one up there for the TV. And then going all the way over here, this is gonna become another circuit. So that plug, and then that also runs the ones underneath the uh, workbench here, because that is, or was initially the end of the line. Uh, and the end of the line is now actually, well, I guess you can't quite see it, but uh, is that one right there. Okay, so I'm gonna do something a little different here. I'm just gonna voice over this part of the video here and you can watch a high speed version of this as we uh, undo these circuits and uh, split them up. Uh, starting with the first one here. Basically the only thing I have to do with this one is disconnect the line that goes over to the next plug. It's really the only thing that needs to be done there which uh, really simplifies the uh, circuitry here in this uh, box quite a bit. In fact, you can see uh, taking off the pigtails there because now I can uh, put the wires straight onto the plugs there. I don't need the additional pigtails. This was the original circuit here. This is now the end of the line for the original circuit. Uh, ends with two plugs. Well, actually, it's not actually the end of the line. Now that I think about it, uh, this original circuit was the original circuit. Now has a total of one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, uh, six plugs on it. This is actually the middle of the circuit. Now that I think about it, it actually feeds uh, three plugs underneath the workbench there, uh, both for the uh, surge strip you're seeing right there, as well as the uh, stereo system. So there's one underneath the stereo system there as well for it, and then it also feeds one underneath the uh, vice. Under the big bench vise there, we have a plug underneath that as well. This uh, circuit here also feeds that one. So, so a total of six outlets on this, uh, what was the original circuit here. And it pretty much just feeds all the plugs that are along this wall. So getting that one all back together here, like I said, wasn't too bad with that one. Just uh, had to take it apart there, pull the one wire that led over to the next plug out. And of course that again, like I said, much simplified that uh, circuit there. Otherwise, there was a lot of wires going on on that uh, particular plug. Okay, moving on to the next here. This is going to be the first of the new circuits. And this is the uh, the wire initially came from the one we just finished, the one I mentioned we took out. So that's where that wire was coming from. Uh, the new yellow line you see being dropped in there, that is feeding straight from the breaker panel. And like I said, it'll be the first in line with a new circuit. And this particular circuit here, let's see, I'll have one, two, three, four, four, five. So a total of five plugs on this one. 
the uh, last one there being the TV. And the electricians, when they did this one here, they put these crimp-on ground connectors on, which uh, worked great, just a real pain when you got to take them apart like, uh, like I had to in this one here. So the uh, wire that's in there now, by the way, just is uh, coiled up in the back. The original wire uh, didn't really do anything with it, didn't remove it. It'd be kind of hard to remove, too, since it is up back behind the wall now at this point. So it's just uh, coiled up back behind there, and then the new wire, of course, connects to the plug. The uh, wire in here is all 12 gauge, by the way. And if you notice the uh, difference in the coloring here, uh, it'll become a little more uh, apparent in the next uh, video. We've got another video coming up here on this as well. But uh, something we got to uh, fix yet with the electrical here. But if you notice, yes, the new uh, wire color there is yellow. As far as I know, that's the uh, new standard there for 12 gauge wire there. It's the yellow color. As you can see, the original color is white. And yes, I just put some uh, caps over that wire there. Probably not really necessary, but I figured just cap them off. Just uh, make it abundantly clear. If anybody ever opens up the box there, uh, yes, those wires are capped off. They are not used. So stuffing everything back in the box there. Again, really wasn't too... Uh, and came off, stick it back on. Uh, again, wasn't too bad to get this one done. Just had to uh, disconnect the original wires. Strip back the new one there, stick it on. And then we'll be moving on to the next one here. This one was probably in some ways a little more difficult because it was in the back corner, by the way. Okay, moving on. This is the last one in line, or was the last one in line until we add one for the TV there. So we're going to add one from here up to the TV. Again, this should be pretty simple. Uh, this one is currently leading over to the uh, plug that will be into the next circuit. So you can see me stuffing those wires back behind there. Uh, taking the ground wire off there as well. And there goes, I believe that is the wire for the TV I'm putting in there. And that's, of course, uh, 12 gauge there as well, by the way. All 12-2. Uh, Which, of course, uh, uh, brings out a good question if you ask me why they call it 12-2 when there's three wires in it. And for redoing the uh, ground connections here, I don't know if you caught it in the last ones here, I am re or putting on some crimp connectors there for the grounds, basically reusing the same thing the electricians did. Seems like they uh, work pretty good, so... And the uh, plug to the left of it there, by the way, that was the one of the new plugs we did. Switched it from just a single outlet there to two outlets in a box. Okay, moving on. This is the uh, next new circuit here. There is two plugs in this particular box here. Again, this used to be just a single outlet box and was originally the end of the line here. So this was the end of the line on the original circuit. Uh, of course, not anymore. It's not. Now it is also feeding a couple plugs underneath the uh, workbench. And there you can see I'm bearing the wires for the new uh, wire coming in. Again, that's coming in straight from the uh, breaker panel there. Be two additional 20-amp circuits here, by the way. So for those of you wondering, a total of three 20-amp circuits here powering uh, the plugs here around the workbench and then a couple other ones in the barn here as well. Most of them are up by the workbench, by the way. Not all of them, but... Uh, most of these uh, circuits here are for the workbench. It's actually quite a surprise to me at this point. We have not actually flipped the uh, 20 amp breaker at all, uh, given the uh, what we run off it. You know, we got grinders and drill presses and cutoff saws and sanders and uh, table saw. Oh yeah, and getting these plugs lined up here—that's uh, that's real fun. There we go. Finally got it. 
But yeah, so far we've never actually popped the 20 amp breaker. Okay, moving on to the electrical panel here. And before anybody asks, yes, this electrical panel is live yet. The main power has not been shut off to it. So uh, in case you don't believe me, just look at the phone there. You can see the phone is still on yet. So nothing uh, particularly too scary inside the electrical panel here. I mean, you know, just common sense. You know, don't stick your fingers uh, in, the, in the hot parts of the panel there, and you should be fine. So wiring the new one in there. Getting a little holder. I forget the exact name of what they call that thingamajig there. Uh, put up top there that holds the wires into the panel. And that one thing we still probably need to address yet, too, you notice how all the wires are hanging loose up there. Uh, we still need to find some good solution for hanging or stapling all those wires up there. Uh, they were initially stapled up to the top of this black board here. But when we put the new electrical panel in, obviously the new electrical panel is probably twice the size of the old electrical panel. So we no longer have room up top there to staple those wires. And it is being held off. The uh, plywood there by 2x4, so it's not like it's right up against the uh, plywood, so we can't really just easily staple it to that either without uh, kind of pulling it. So we still need to find a better solution for that yet. That's probably something we need to uh, work on there yet. Okay, getting the uh, ground wire there connected. And as I mentioned, tried to get the ground wires on one side and then the neutrals on the other side. Uh, again, with the original wire, that just did not work out because the electrician's Pretty much cut the wires short to exactly what they needed to be for the original panel. That uh, was a bit of an annoyance there working, putting the new panel in there. Uh, really a struggle to get some of those wires to fit because, again, they were like exactly the right size for the old panel, which obviously didn't quite work out for the new panel. But we managed to get everything to work. As you can see, they're getting the uh, neutrals in. And if not familiar with panels like this, you know, you can touch the neutrals in the ground. I wouldn't recommend this, by the way, unless you know what you're doing. But uh, if you touch the neutrals in the ground and stuff, you shouldn't be getting shocked. The only parts you have to worry about getting shocked by is the hot bar that's running down the middle there where you connect your breakers into. And then, of course, getting the uh, next breakers installed here. Again, these would be two additional 20-amp breakers. And, of course, being a little bit careful here again because, of course, that panel is live. Oh, yeah, I think I was having problems with this one breaker here for some reason. The wire did not want to stick in it. I don't know what was up with it, but you'd tighten it down, and it would uh, push the wire out, out, of the, uh, out of the hold down tab that held the wire in for some reason. Okay, there we go. Getting the uh, breaker slid in there. Like I said, really not that much to it. You notice, too, I left the uh, yellow ends there on the wires, marked what they are. That's what those are for there. And you can just use those, you know, to write on what circuit that is for. Okay, putting the screws back on here. We're almost done. going to do it for this uh, video here. Got two new breakers here. So again, we got kind of this wall here is the first breaker. Then we got the second breaker and then the third breaker there. So didn't go too badly. Everything went uh, pretty good. Also got a new plug in for the uh, TV there. Uh, actually, you know what? Maybe I'll just go through that here in just a minute. Okay, so we uh, disconnected the wire from this plug that feeds this one here that is now being fed by the new breaker. You can see the line there disconnected the wire that feeds from this plug over to that plug and of course disconnected it over there as well and then also added a new wire here that goes up to there to feed the TV and finally on the last one here this is where another new breaker is feeds this plug as well as a couple of the plugs underneath the bench here 
So of course disconnected the one that fed it and now being fed by a new breaker. So on that note folks, we're going to wrap up this video here. Have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time.